Hi everyone, welcome back to the Homestead Kitchen. Today I have so many different projects going on. It is just one of those days. I have been putting off getting my green enchilada sauce made with my green tomatoes. Now I picked these so long ago that they were ripening so fast I really didn't think I'd get any made. And I'm at the point now where I don't have enough to actually can, which kind of stinks, but I'm gonna make enchiladas tonight and I'm gonna use up these green tomatoes to make a quick sauce. I actually have one pint left from last year, so I'm gonna add that to it. But the beauty of doing it fresh like this is I don't need to follow the recipe. I love to cook without recipes. Um, when I can, it's just so much easier. So, so since I'm not going to follow any certain recipe, it's just going to make putting this together a lot easier. Oops. So right now I am just washing and cutting up my green tomatoes. And I just cooked some chicken breasts in the crock pot today. And I just did that while I was busy with some other things. I put them in the KitchenAid with my dough hook. And they are all shredded up now, ready to make some enchiladas, which is one of my very favorites. And... Let's see, what am I adding to them? I did pick up um, some green chilies from the store and some cheese, so that'll be added. I'll add some onion. Um, we have lots of onions still from our garden, thankfully. We did buy some from the store back when we made salsa because we were going through it so fast. Um, but we still have some onions from our garden. And then I did buy tortillas because the reason I haven't made this yet is because... I just haven't had time to make tortillas and I don't want that to hold me back. So I definitely need to set some time aside maybe on the weekend to get some homemade tortillas in the freezer because they're just the best. So what was left of the tomatoes that were already red now, um, those ones I chopped up and I have them in the crock pot right here with some pork and um, some cabbage and some broth and I'm just cooking it all down for a soup for the week. Um, it's just nice to have some warm things as it's getting colder outside. All right, I've got the tomatoes heating up. Got the jar from last year I'm going to add. I think what I'm going to do is add this right to the tomatoes. As these cook down, I can probably puree them um, with my immersion blender or my stick blender. And then I'll spice it up to taste. I prefer to use red or purple onions in here, but I have all this frozen white onions still. So that's what I'm using. Did I say I was using my onions from my garden? I guess I changed my mind. I was making the potato and leek soup the other day and I thought, huh, I'm gonna peel all these potatoes like this big lofty gold. And then I was like, no, you're gonna feed your family. Sometimes that's just how it has to be. So no, I'm not using those onions today, but they're stored, they're fine for now. <laughs> The sauce is cooking down so well. Look at these tomatoes. They're just really cooking down. So I am going to let this keep cooking and roll up my enchiladas. So I just take my mixture, chicken, cheese, chilies, um, onions, and I'm going to add it to my tortillas, get it in my pan, and I should probably turn my oven on. Now I typically cook these at like 350 and I cover them and then I uncover them towards the end but I turned it up to 400 because it's getting a little later in the evening. Everybody's getting a little to that hangry stage and we want to eat. I have to show you all. Matt fixed my oven door. It has been giving us trouble for so long. So you usually have to like prop it shut and it is working. So a new stove and oven will be in my future probably in the next year or so. But it's working. So I'm thrilled. So I have one full pan and I have plenty to make more. So what I will do is I will eventually build those and those will end up in the freezer for um, another day when we're busier, Christmas time and such. I wanna show you how um, the sauce is coming. So it's really cooking down into that other sauce. I really packed this pan tight so that we would for sure have enough for our supper. And then this here, and I will probably make up a quick coleslaw to go on the side and then we'll have you know usual fixings um, I'll get the cheese and sauce as soon as I'm done with this and 
I don't know, I chopped up all the tomatoes. So, oops, so no tomatoes, but probably some salsa and sour cream. Like my tasting spoon. <laughs> so obviously it's gonna be heavy in tomato. I didn't add any onions, which would really bulk it up a little. So I think I'm gonna add some onion powder, some garlic powder, maybe a tiny bit of cumin, and probably a little bit of lime juice to cut the tomato flavor. I might even add a little bit of vinegar. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of salt too. I kinda forgot about the basics, right? I think I'm gonna add a little cayenne, just a little bit more. I'm gonna add a little pepper too. All right, we got it. <laughs> Looks like perfect timing. My oven just beeped. I'm going to cover it with my enchiladas with some tinfoil, get these in, and then I'll finish making the other ones as I'm setting up for supper. Almost forgot the cheese. If you want, you could certainly wait till you uncover it and then throw in the cheese. Um, but as long as I don't put the tin foil too tight to it, I know it'll be fine. I ended up with one more pan of enchiladas, a little one for the freezer. Sorry, I completely forgot to show you the finished enchiladas. They look delicious, they were delicious, and now we're all enjoying some nice hot chocolate before bed. I'm glad you got to see me again. <laughs>